as you guys can see, it's pretty choppy out there. It wasn't a very big swell, but it was choppy. If you guys pay attention, you guys can see those sea lions. Uh, yeah, I'm down. Stay closer At to this water. point, guys, um, me the and the other two were headed in closer to the launch because they were helping me uh, take my kayak back up to my car. To so that's what we're talking about. You're gonna go that way, right? No, you want to? Yeah. All hell breaks loose. Oh shit, he's in, he's Don't panic, dude. Gear, pedal a little bit. Just so you're aware, the water temperature that day was 60 degrees. You cold? Freezing. We're gonna head you in. You're not staying out here like this. Okay, so what I want you to do, are you, are you paying attention? Let me see your glasses. Grab your, is your paddle leashed? No, it's good. All right, so. You gotta. One handle, and then reach under, grab your other handle, underneath. Let me see your glasses and your, uh, all that. Anything you got on you that you, you'll float away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Use this. Come here. Alright, let me see your hand. Okay, did you see what he did? Okay. Hold on, let me see your hat. Your hat's gonna go away too. So, did you hear what he said though? Okay. So, we need to work fast, right? Yeah. So, you're gonna go under. They're gonna grab one handle on this side, and grab the other handle on the other side, all right? You can do it. You can do it. You don't wanna jump over and do it? All right, hang on. Oh, Watch out. Yeah, I'm going. You're okay, you're all right. I got you. Okay. Ready, go. Go. I got a bilge pump right here. Give me a handle. Don't worry about your shit. Don't worry about your shit. Yeah, dude, the shit. Yeah. How much water's in there? Okay. okay. 
Hey, we gotta take him back, you know that, right? Yep. You know you didn't ruin anybody's day by this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to get on it, but you're gonna have to. Well, yeah, it's Phil on the back, dude. The more water we get out, the more stable the kayak will be. Trust me, I've I've been I've sunk in a kayak in a lot worse conditions than this. That's why now I have a village pump. <laughs> Close this. Now what you're gonna do, because we're gonna have to build this pump again, but you're gonna climb up onto the but I'm gonna try and hold this back stable. Oh, oh. Five, I got the back. Climb, go. There you go. Yep, use his kayak. Oh, those boots are fucking. You got wrong boots to wear. Don't fucking say that now. Hey Garrett, yep. take this. I'm gonna go let Eddie know. I'm gonna go tell Eddie. All right, guys. So you guys saw in the video of the dangers it can be while we're out there on the water. Sorry, I'm just really quiet. I got kids sleeping and the wife is sleeping and um, my back is jacked up. Did my back out last week. So you can see in the video, it is dangerous what we do, but we do it together. And you can see a couple things that guy did wrong. Um, one, he was wearing the wrong clothes. Two, the shoes were wrong. But he did a couple of good things. He stayed close to somebody that he had already been out on the water. He um, stayed calm for the most part. But can't stress this enough, guys. Thank God one of us had a bilge pump. First thing. Second thing is thank God we heard him. Un unlike that day, none of us had our VHF radios on us. I left mine at home personally, so that kind of sucked. Sorry for the shaky video. I'm trying to get this right. But anyways, um, so I, I had no VHS radio, no one else did, so that sucked. Good thing it didn't get any worse. Two, proper gear where we were out there. 60 degree water, he was in the water for less than five minutes, roughly five to seven minutes, and he was freezing after being in the water for two minutes. Um, it was a great day overall, but I think he learned something, I personally learned something, I've never been in that situation where I've had to help somebody or I've gone in the water. But another thing is to remind you guys, always, when you get a new kayak, take it into a swimming pool, take it into the lake, something, and tip it over, get back in it. Tip it over, get back in it. That way you're not freaking out when, if you do ever end up in a situation like that. Where you can just flip it over, get back in it, figure the rest out later. And there, another thing, leash everything. I'm bad at it myself. Only about 50% of my stuff is leashed for the most part. 
<laughs> that's one thing I'm horrible at is leashing all my stuff. But and then, like I said, leash everything. Thank God that guy had most of his stuff floating in the water, not necessarily leashed. Nothing in that thing was leashed. Um, not gonna name any names, but uh, it was his first time out in the water in the ocean, and I made up a bunch of jigs and gave them to him. I never went out. He lost them all. Poor man. Like all those are gone. He lost two fishing poles in the, in the mix. He lost some other stuff, but wasn't very, you know, worried about it because he knew he was safe. But keep that in mind, guys. It's a safety video. I hope you guys like it. Comment what you think should have been done different. Comment what you liked about the video. But always remember to stay safe out in the water and never go out by yourself.